what are you doing? All right, I get asked a lot of questions about dogs and different things. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is uh, service dogs and ESA dogs real quick. I will keep most of these little snippet videos short because one, I don't get paid, and two, we're not professional, but I do get asked a lot of questions. Uh, I'm doing a video podcast, video feed with a friend of mine that does the vet files. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, one of the things that I want to clarify about service dogs and ESA dogs, they are two different things. Working dogs are working as described, which they could be a service dog. The ADA and the VA outline specifically as far as military veterans, uh, what service dogs are, working and non-working for us. Basically a service dog performs a task. An ESA animal um, or an ESA dog is an emotional support animal and they no longer carry the same uh, legal requirements, uh, if you will, as far as getting in airplanes and homes and stuff. And that is because every state, federal government, and everybody has different rules, regardless of what people say on the internet. Uh, some airlines have blocked the ESA dogs. It does happen and it's an argumentable cause. I'm not going to say that the ESA dogs are not needed for people, but a service dog and an ESA animal dog is two different things. Can they be one and the same? Yes. Therapy dogs, there's many different levels of this. The problem everybody's running into, too much abuse of the system, too much abuse of the uh, namesake, if you will, service dog. So everybody needs to be taking that into account when they go get one. Follow the ADA guidelines, follow the VA, follow your local, your hospitals. Uh, there's a lot of guidelines out there. People don't want to use them, but I will tell you this. If you're smacking a vest on a dog and sticking service animal on it or service dog, that does not make them a service dog. You can get that out of your head right now, and I'll argue that till the day I die. And the bottom line is that is an abuse of the system and it causes the people that need those animals, seeing eye dogs, uh, adaptive uh, support animals, things like that, emotional support animals that are needed because too many people want to get their pig, their alligator or something stupid into the system. Uh, these dogs will fetch and retrieve. There's dogs that can uh, sense certain things. There are animals that are used for therapy. There is a lot of different levels here. But just going down and getting an animal and st sticking a Velcro sticker on there does not make it a service animal. And when you start talking about canines and working dogs and military working dogs, this is a very broad and wide discussion that could go on for hours, probably even days and lawyers and legalities and everything. I will tell you this, if you're paying these companies $250, $300 to register your dog and call it a legal service dog, go ahead and do it. You don't have to do that. The ADA very very well outlines this for people. So you should go check it out. You should check into this before you pay them. You should get a doctor that is treating you if you need that prescription for an animal. Um, you know, whatever's going on, you should have all this documented, not just pay somebody 350 bucks to go get a letter so you can take your dog on an airport or a hotel because that is not how it works.